So do you know how many times she was um, she was shot? From what Two you to understand? three times. Okay. <laughs> Two to three times. Where was she shot at? One was in the um, in her back where her ribs or her lungs are, and the others was in her side where her stomach is. You see all the gunshots. It went in right here and came out the other side of his arm and then went back in underneath like in his chest area and the bullet is still in him underneath like in the fatty tissue underneath his lungs. We were sleeping. She heard ruckus going on in the hallway. She woke me up talking about there's police in the hallway there in our house. I don't know. They all happened so fast. She was the first one on the ground. They asked who was in the room, and I was like, me, who else was in the room? I said, me. I sounded out, came out with my hands on top of my head. They threw me to the ground, put their boot in my back. She jumped up after three shots and waved her arms like, no, 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 stop, stop. But he never, he stayed right here and was firing from over here. And you can see there's blood over there. They was using, like, the dogs were using the bed as shelter, trying to dodge the bullets and he kept on shooting. I couldn't what? see them. I didn't know if I didn't know if they were dead all the way or what. All I know is they shot my dog and then they drug us outside and handcuffed us and put us on the curb. Roughly an hour, hour and a half after the shooting was when the animal control showed up. We went to the emergency clinic on Davis Highway and um, after being there for roughly 20-30 minutes, they came in and told me all the information. She was bleeding in her, in her belly, she was bleeding in her lungs, and they gave her a 4% chance of living. After, um, after they would do surgery, and which would have costed about $10,000, um, they would have given her about a 4% chance of making it out of the hospital. And they asked me if I wanted to humanely euthanize her so that she wouldn't hurt anymore. And after thinking about it for a few minutes, I decided to go ahead and sign the paperwork to euthanize her. I felt that she was in pain. I was able to pet her. I was able to talk to her and um, kiss her goodbye. And they euthanized her because I just couldn't see her in pain anymore. Are you mad or are you sad? All of the above. I'm frustrated because this could have been prevented. I know it could have been prevented. These dogs never have lunged or bitten anyone ever. We have friends that come over all the time. Even people that have been to my house one time. These dogs are sweet dogs. They wag their tail. They greet you. And they are not aggressive. I I don't know why it happened. I'm upset. I'm very depressed. Not able to sleep or eat right. Just, I feel like my child has died. It's just, it's sad.